Hi and welcome to the latest of my macrame tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a key chain, um, a key ring or a bag charm and we're going to do a crisscross um, square knot pattern and then we're going to finish it off with a wrap knot or you might have heard it called a gathering knot. So for this project I've got four lengths of Bobbini three millimeter single twist. Um, I've chosen to use teal and these are 80 centimeters in length. So I've got four lots of 80 centimeters. And then for the wrap knot at the end, I've got a length of 50 centimeters. I've also got my keychain um, ring and clip. I've got a pair of nice sharp scissors. As always, I use the Fiskars razor edge. And I am working on my cork board so I can pin my work in place to secure it whilst I'm making the knots. You may be using a macrame board or a clipboard. And I've also got my pet brush so I can fringe out the ends um, if I want that effect when I'm finished. So grab everything you need, grab yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee, and we'll make a start. Okay, so I am going to take two of my 80 centimeter cords. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something which means that we don't waste the, the filler cord, okay? So if you're familiar with a square knot, you will know that it's only the outer cords that do the work. So you need longer outer cords and you need shorter inner cords unless you trim them, but then you can end up with a lot of waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my keychain about 15 to 20 centimetres long. So that's what I'm going to fold one end back, just so I can, this is how long I want my keychain to be, okay? And then I'm going to make a lark's head knot with that length, okay? Now I know on lots of tutorials I would have said, make sure you're working with equal distance um, and length cords but for this one as I say I want to show you just how we can do it without lots of waste okay so then for the next one I'm going to do the same but I'm going to do so the inner cord is going to match the other filler cord then I'm going to fold that back over and I'm going to make another lark's head knot with that. Okay. And like I say, it's just a little tip. If you're just using the square knot, it's just a little tip so that you don't waste your cord. And then I'm just going to pin this to secure it whilst I'm working. Okay. So this is going to be my first row of square knots. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat it with my other two 80 centimetre cords for my second row of square knots. Okay, so a refresher, if this is the first time you've done macrame, or if you just need a reminder of how to make a square knot, we always use four cords. And as I've said, the two centre cords, they're the holding cords, the filler cords. They're not actually going to do anything. It's the outer two cords that do the work, hence they're called the working cords. So I always take my left cord and I make it into an L shape, or you might hear some people say it's like a number four. I tend to call this my L cord because it's the left hand one and I make an L shape and that goes over the center holding cords. Okay, then I'm going to take my right hand cord and it's going to come over that L cord. But then 
I'm going to take it, I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to take it sort of like diagonally underneath these holding cords and where I've got my L loop, I'm going to pull it through there and then I always use my thumb to hold these two holding cords and then I'm just going to pull that so it fits snugly against the lark's head knots. So that is a half square knot. To complete the half square knot, I am then going to repeat the same with my right hand cord, which I like to refer to as my P cord because I'm making a P. So that P cord is going to go over the center two holding cords. And then my left cord, it's going to come over the top of this P cord but then I'm going to lift these holding cords up and I'm going to go behind them and then I'm going to come up through this P loop. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull those. And there we go. Okay. And there you have got one complete square knot. So I'm going to repeat that again until I might probably might do... About eight. I'll do eight and I'll see how, how it's looking. Okay, so L chord, then P chord up and through. You can stop and pause this video as many times as you need to if you need a refresher on the square knots. Okay, so there's two square knots. Three square knots. Four square knots. And again, as you, you know, if you're using a different width um, cord, then you might, you know, if you're using a smaller width, like a 1.5, then you'll probably get more knots. Or if you're using a, a larger cord like the five mil then you'll uh, you'll probably get fewer square nuts so but the idea is you know you want to make it as big as you want to make it I'm just showing you the basic design one two three four five I think I might even do ten actually six Eight. I think, yeah, I think ten will be perfect. Eight. Nine. That's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I'm going to do one more. Okay. And as you can see, that that means you know we that's those holding cords were just the right length for for this keychain. Okay. So I've done ten square knots. Okay. So I'm going to add the other two cords in exactly the same way. Um, so I'm going to fold them back again with a lark's head knot. And I'm going to make another row. So let me uh, unpin this while I... It's easier to attach the cords with a lark's head knot with it unpinned. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so you make another row of 10 square nuts and I'll meet you when we're done. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so there I have got my two rows of 10 square knots. <clears throat> and as I say, you can you can make this longer if you wanted to, but I'm just, for the purpose of this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you just with 10. And then what you're going to do is we're just going to cross these over. Okay. So that you get like that crisscross pattern. Okay. And again, obviously, if you had more square knots, then you'd have more crosses. But you just want to cross them over like that. And then what we're going to do is to secure it, we are going to make a wrap knot. You may have heard it called a gathering knot. So I'm going to keep that in place there. I'm not going to pin it this time because I'm going to um, pick it up in a minute and hold it all together. So I've got my 50 centimeter length cord. I'm going to fold it back so I've got a loop, probably about 10 centimeters. And this loop is going to go towards the bottom of the keychain or the bag charm. And I need, when I get to the bottom of the square knots, I need to keep this tail, which is probably about four or five centimeters. I need to keep that exposed. Okay, because we're going to need to use that in a moment. So then, as the name of the knot suggests, it's going to wrap it round. You can wrap it round as many times as you want to, but you do not want to go past the loop that we left. Okay, so I've just done five wraps there. Okay. If you're using single twist as well, you might find that it comes a bit loose, so you might need to twist it again so you get the definition. Okay, and then the tail is going to go through that loop. Pull that, still holding it all together. Grab the tail that we left exposed and pull that. And what is going to happen is that that knot, it will disappear within that wrap. Okay, so you will not see the cord. Okay, and then you can just adjust it. See that one I didn't quite do underneath there. You can adjust it and fiddle around. Okay, fiddle back round with it. There you go. So you've got your nice crisscross pattern now. Now I'm going to take my scissors and just trim off that end. If you've got any bits left, you can always just use the end of your scissors to tuck them in. Then I'm just going to trim all these cords so that they're all the same length. And I can either leave it like that. There you go, I've got my, my crisscross sort of like square knot pattern. Or if you wanted to, you can push out the ends so you've got a nice, nice feathered edge. Okay, and if you really want to be super neat you can once again just use and that's why it's great to have these razor scissors you can just cut across and you've got a really nice neat edge okay and there you go a super simple keychain bag charm using a crisscross square knot Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please hit like, subscribe, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And I'm regularly uploading new tutorials and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.